Hello. Oh, that's too close. Hello. And welcome to my bed. Today, I'm doing a January wrap up of all the books that I read in January. Why not? None of the books that I read this month were physical books, which is weird to me because I normally do, but I mean, I normally do read physical books. I read more books this month than I've ever read any month ever. So all of them were either audiobooks or on my Kindle. So we're gonna go through them right now and give reviews. First book that I read this month was Desperate Measures. Desperate Measures. What does that sound like? by Kate Robert, Katie Robert. I don't know if her name is Kate or Katie. I'm sorry. It's the first book in the Wicked Villains series. I didn't really know fully what it was before I started reading it or listening to it because I actually listened to this book, which I do not recommend. <laughs> it's basically a series about the Disney villains and the first one is about Jafar from Aladdin and Jasmine and them, you know? You know what I mean? I didn't really like this book, to be honest. It was weird. I thought it was just weird. It was just not for me. Obviously there was spice, a lot of spice, which is fine, you know? I don't mind spice. But um, the spice was just weird and like everything about this was just weird. I don't know, I just didn't like it. I gave it like a two out of five stars. It made me uncomfy. I don't rec recommend this book. I re only read it because I read Neon Gods, which is another book by the same author. That was like pretty good. I think I gave it like a 3.5 out of five. Didn't like this one. The plot was just why. The next book I read though, loved it. It's The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren, which I'm pretty sure Christina Lauren is like two people that write books together. This book was so good. I gave it a 4.8 out of five, which you know is like just give it a five, but I'm trying to save like five star books for like my favorite books of all time. Yeah, that's basically why, but oh my gosh, it was so good. Basically, it's about this girl that's a twin. Her twin is getting married to this guy and she hates, the main girl hates the guy's brother. He's disgusting, you know. The wedding happens. Everyone gets food poisoning at the wedding except for them because they have like, they're picky or like have dietary restrictions. Someone needs to go on the honeymoon paid for can't be refunded someone needs to go so it ends up being the twin and the brother things happen from there it sounds kind of weird like i think that's why i didn't read it for so long because i'm like okay they go on a honeymoon that wasn't meant for them this is weird like okay but it was very good i like both of the main characters a lot they oh it's so good read it if you read if you like romance books read it i would highly recommend the next book i read was the soulmate equation by christina lauren same authors. I was just on a kick. I was like, oh my god, this was so good. I need to read another one. It was very good. Didn't think it was as good as the Unhoneymooners, but it was good. I feel like I didn't really like the characters as much as I wish I would have. I think that's where I like fell short. I just didn't really vibe with the characters. I gave it a four out of five. Probably like a little bit less. No, four out of five. I'll get it a four out of five. It was just basically about this dude. He's a CEO where he like made this app that like takes your DNA and finds you matches and it can go from like the lowest match to like someone you're really, you have a really high compatibility with. Basically they've met and they like don't like each other. Like the girl doesn't like him. Somehow she takes the DNA test and it turns out she's a really high match with someone. Wonder who, I don't know, but read it to see. It was cute though. I actually don't remember the ending of this book. I don't remember the ending of it. The next book I read is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. I liked this book. I did not love it. I gave it a four out of five. It just wasn't that like memorable and also, I don't know. It had like that weird cheesy like stuff that they say in the books that's just like no one would say in real life, but it feels like they're trying to be cool. You know that cheesy stuff? I think you know what I'm talking about. It happens in romance books all the time and then just like, why do we need to do that? It was good though. There were some scenes I really liked. I did really, really, really love like the sister of the main character and a certain someone. I loved their dynamic. You'd barely even got to see them, but like she's writing another book for the same world, but the it's about the sister and the certain someone. Very excited for it. I feel like it's gonna be so, I'm more excited for that than I was this book. So it's gonna be so good. I can't wait. I'm so excited to read it. They just seem like they have more chemistry. Anyways, it was very good still though, and it was cute. 
moving on, I started a series. And not just any series, a giant series. I started Zodiac Academy by, who's it by? It's by these two sisters. I think they're sisters. These two people. Caroline Peckham and Suzanne Valenti. The first book is called The Awakening. It was very good. It's on Kindle Unlimited, all the books in the series. So if you got a Kindle and you want to read it on Kindle Unlimited, do that. It's a fantasy series. There's romance. There's so much happening in the series that I don't even know where to start, but it's like not, it's like a lot happening, but it's not where it's like, oh my God, I don't know what's going on. Like this is too much. It's like good. The first book has a little bit of bullying. So uh, if you don't like that, maybe don't read it. I can't even like recommend the series yet because I haven't finished it. So I'm gonna like try to make a whole video on this whole series as a series as a whole of the series as a whole. But so far the characters are very good and interesting and are good. I got my run out of space. Anyways, there's zodiac signs. There's magic based on the elements. There's, what else is there? There's orders. And by orders, it's like someone could be a vampire. Someone could be a werewolf. Someone could be a pegasus, a dragon, you know, like all these different, and it's not like a weird way. It's like good. There's political intrigue. What else is there? Tension enemies to lovers forbidden romance i ugh, i love these characters i love these relationships i hate some of the characters but i feel like i'm starting to like the characters more as it goes on as it progresses oh it's so good i read the second book it's called ruthless fay the second book gives you what you want from the first book from the events of the first book you know like not everything, but it gives you what you need. So that one was good. The third book, I don't know if I should count it because I finished it on February 1st, but like I finished the end of it on February 1st and I read most of it in January. So I'm still gonna count it. It's called The Reckoning. This shit had me on the edge of my seat, but like good stuff was happening. I was like, oh my God, this is good. And then it was like, you, you thought. And I really did think, I really did truly think. And it wasn't, you know, it just was like, whoop. And I was like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> so yeah, that was good. It's basically about these two girls that are twins that were lost to the magic realm. They're back, they're here, they're found. They ruffle some feathers. I don't think I've ever said ruffle some feathers, but that's what they do. And things get kind of crazy. There's a little bit of a love triangle. And I know love triangles are like, mm, like some people love them, some people hate them. I don't really care either way, like I'm chilling. I don't have like, I'm not like, oh, I love love triangles. I wanna read a book about love triangles. But I'm also not like, if there's love triangles in this book, I'm not fucking reading that shit. So, you know, it's like, I don't really care. It's like there, it's part of the plot. This fucking shit, this love triangle in this book is good. And I'm excited to see what happens. There's fucking slow burn in this fucking series. Oh my gosh, my friend's about to die. I started the fourth book, which I'm scared because I watched a lot of TikToks on this series. I did spoil myself for like one tiny thing, but it was, I, I do that a lot. Anyways, I watched like a bunch of TikToks on this and stuff and every person said that the fourth book is devastating and it will make you cry and ruin your life. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. Apparently it's the last like 15%, which I'm kind of glad I don't have the physical book because if I did, I would skip ahead. I can't help it. I would just flip ahead and act like I'm just looking and then I would spoil some major plot point. I'm kind of glad I am reading it on the Kindle because I can do that, but it's harder. It's more work, so I won't do it. <laughs> can it be that bad? It probably is. If you're reading it or if you've read it, let me know your thoughts. Also, every like, they're, they're like fae. Every fae has an order form, which I talked about, like it could be different things. I fucking guessed their order form from the, I'm pretty sure it was the first book. I can't remember specifically though. I'm not gonna say anymore because it might spoil it a little bit, but I fucking guessed that shit. I predicted that shit. It's like gonna give me the worst book hangover ever. You already know what all of February's books are gonna be because I'm just gonna be reading this series and finishing the last four books and I'm not okay. That's all the books that I read in January. I hope you enjoyed. Let's talk about books because I love them. Oh my elbow. That's it for today's video. Bye guys. I wish I could read really fast. That would be really cool, wouldn't it?